Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a story of a man whose wife left her daughter and went to do the dirty work with her AP. When OP found out, he did this. Here's the full story with two updates. Never thought I'd be here but yet here I am. This weekend my wife, 38 female, and our daughter, 13 female, went to visit her mom. I couldn't go because I couldn't get the time off work and we decided it would just be a girl's weekend for them. I'm a firefighter in a large southern city, and I'm on a call and gearing up when our dispatcher calls in to tell me that there is some emergency. I'm not really needed on the work call, so I get my cell phone and find a bunch of texts from my kid, and a couple from a number I don't have in my phone. In the course of about 11 text messages, I learn that my daughter has gone ice skating and fallen and broken her wrist. She's in the emergency room, but cannot get treatment because no one can find my wife. The number that I don't know belongs to a friend of my wife's who has gone to the emergency room to sit with my kid. She was the chaperone for the girls who had gone skating. So I call this friend and after a lot of hemming and hawing she admits that wifey has gone to dinner with some random guy. While we always leave our location shared with the family because of my job. And sure enough I pull up an address and google it and it's a effing hotel. This was 10 p.m. It's now almost 4 hours later and she hasn't answered my texts but she did finally call our kid. I have permission and insurance information and she got a cast and a referral to see an orthoptist when she gets home. The friend took our daughter back to her grandmother's and texted me. She said I'm sorry you had to find out this way about. A guy's name. Apparently it's been going on every time she's gone home that I haven't gone. Meanwhile, I've worked countless hours of overtime to pay off our house, take us a nice vacations, send our daughter to the most expensive private school in our city. I'm a fool. Update. Spoke with a lawyer as many of you suggested. During that conversation I realized that she doesn't really have a lot of access to money that is hers. Removed her as an authorized user of my credit cards. Put two-factor authentication on just about anything else that she might try to get her hands on. Pulled my credit report to discover that she opened a joint credit card I didn't know about, since I'm on the account as well. I was able to log in and print out the charges. A basically perfect timeline of restaurants and hotels that she has paid for. Turns out she also has accounts on Tinder and Bumble which showed up when I combed through the last few phone bills. Have a pal who is a deputy sheriff in these parts who is going to be here tonight when she gets home. I've gotten her a room at a nearby hotel for the week and paid for it up front. She can sleep there for now and figure it out on her own starting tomorrow. Daughter and I spoke and she knows what is up and is angry at mom. So next steps are to find someone for her to talk to. Thanks to my job I've got great insurance so that is one less thing to worry about. Decided I am also going to come clean to her mother once wife and daughter are on the plane back here. Taking a couple of days off to deal with this. Thanks for the advice everyone. I'll probably yank these posts down tonight or tomorrow so if you have any other last minute advice, now is the time. Final update. First off thanks to everyone who weighed in. It's amazing the number of fellow firefighters and Leos I've heard from who are in similar situations. I took a few days of personal time away from the job in order to deal with all of this. The soon-to-be ex-wife and our daughter returned home late Sunday and my daughter immediately fled to her room and closed the door. My wife said something along the lines of I guess you must be pretty mad at me, and I told her the truth, that I was numb. The anger would come later and it would be best if she was somewhere else for a while. My friend the deputy sheriff was there and said he would sit on the deck and be there if I needed him. I told the wife that I was recording this conversation to protect me and my rights as a husband and father and she said fine. I suspected at this point that she really seemed to think that she was going to talk her way out of it. What I didn't tell her was that I'd spent most of the last week talking with friends, my parents, my battalion chief at work, as well as a lawyer and a therapist. I've got a ton of leave and a supportive bunch of co-workers and if I need to take months off to deal with this, I can. I just said that I was disappointed in her but mostly I was angry that our daughter got caught in the crossfire of her bad behavior. That she had put our child at risk to get laid. She didn't admit or deny. But then her tone changed and she almost immediately started in on saying things like, remember the time we, trying to get me to remember good times. After about three of those mentions I told her the truth. I couldn't trust my memories because I had no idea what she might have been doing. When that didn't work she went into the hole I was lonely because you were working so much crap. I reminded her that we made a deal about how to pursue a future where we could retire early. I got so mad at this point that I pointed out to her that if she had behaved we could have retired when she was 48 or so, but that I wanted her to remember that promise because now she is going to have to work for herself. I'm not usually a vindictive person but I like the idea of her having to work until she's 70 years old, 
and being angry every time she gets dressed to go to a job that she hates. Side note, one of my work buddies who is also married, he and his family have vacationed with us a couple of times too, made this observation. Every time we've gone somewhere there has been a day or two where the wife has contrived an excuse to be apart from the family. So I played a hunch and said something like, this wasn't the first time. This was just the first time you got caught. And she just hung her head and very quietly said yes. So I have that admission on tape. She went to the hotel without objection. She wrote me long emails saying things like I'm sorry and I am not sure why I did what I did. I did not reply. Before she even got home, I had spoken with her mother and told her about the fact that she was at a hotel with another man while her daughter was in the emergency room, and also about the credit card that she opened. Her mother did not say much, but I told her that if I had any inkling that she was aiding and abetting the wife's bad behavior that I would severely limit her access to her granddaughter. That was probably a mistake on my part, but I was just so effing angry. The mother-in-law swears that she knew nothing and that she was worried sick that something that happened to my wife when no one could reach her. I also told the mother-in-law that I was not going to allow the wife back into the house if I could do so, and that I expected her to understand that I've never yelled or hit or cheated or done anything else, other than the things I promised to do when we got engaged. That seemed to resonate with her. My wife's parents split up when she was in high school because her dad was a serial cheater, so maybe that registered with her mom. I sent a text to the friend who took my daughter to the emergency room. I told her I didn't particularly care if she replied. I said I appreciated her being at the ER with my daughter, but I also said that if she had previous knowledge of where my wife was going, then she should know that she had a huge part in destroying my family, and that a true friend would never encourage crappy behavior. I haven't figured out how to get in touch with her husband yet, but I suspect, based on just sort of reading between the lines that she and my wife were kind of egging each other on. Thursday morning I got a text from the wife saying that her mother had rented her a furnished apartment pretty close to our house, and that she would like to come and get some personal things on Friday when I went to work. I said that was fine. I should point out that during all of this she only texted our daughter one time, and even in her communications with me, she never even asked about her. When she told me she got the apartment she didn't ask if our daughter could come visit. I told her that I wasn't working on Friday but that I would be out of the house for a couple of hours so she could get some things. I left, but I had a process server waiting across the street and when she pulled up in the driveway, he handed her divorce papers. They included a notice from my attorney that I intend to file for sole custody and that she would have visitation rights. She called my voicemail and she was almost incoherent with rage. I've never heard her so angry or frankly sounding so unbalanced. Also, my lawyer had a very good suggestion that I will pass along for anyone else in this position. I got a new cell phone. I don't carry the phone that has the number the wife knows. I've only given a few people the new number. My lawyer, my sister, my daughter, my boss, a couple of good friends from work. I take a look at the old phone once a day and see if there's anything I need to deal with. I know there's a lot of other advice out there that I did not touch on. But there is no need for a paternity test because my daughter looks exactly like me. I will get an STD panel, but I don't think that's an issue either. My lawyer did get notified that the wife has hired a lawyer, but I made it clear that I am going to stay in the house and the daughter is going to stay there with me. I may have to write her a large check thanks to the vagaries of family law, but at this point, I really don't give a crap. I'd probably add a zero to the check if I could get rid of her six months earlier. You are an inspiration and proud of you for being a human with morals and for sticking up for yourself. She ruined the good she had for lovemaking and that is pathetic. Hope you come out the other end strong and mentally tough. Keep an eye on your daughter. Kids don't know how to process feelings. Have a good therapist or personal counselor waiting for her. Best of luck moving forward into your new life. About four days ago, my wife consummated an affair she's been having with her therapist for the past seven months. I can't fit all the background story I wanted to share here. If there's interest, I'll post the full story to a blog or something. Three months ago, she cut off sex and told me I didn't deserve it anymore and I have to earn the right. I found myself in a dead bedroom. As time went on I kept attempting to talk things through with her. I was starved of intimacy, touch, reassurance, help around the house, everything she suddenly stopped doing anything related to our relationship or household. I felt betrayed. I was convinced that there's more to it but she kept explaining things away, redirecting the questions, changing facts, etc. I regularly prompted her to please be open and honest with me so we can work things out. But I was exhausting her. She never had time for me and always had higher priority things to focus on. 
Her resentment of me grew and she was openly hostile with me at this point. Then she scheduled a trip to go on a women empowerment event, females only, and I knew in my heart what was happening. She had found a cover story that she knew I wouldn't argue with. I couldn't sleep so I snooped through her accounts again. I went through the phone records, search history, I purchased a background search service so I could find out which numbers were whose. There was a suspicious number, so I decided to give it a call. And sure enough the name on the voicemail was none other than her therapist. I did a background search and discovered he lived in the same town she booked the hotel. On the second night of her trip, I accessed her search history and put together a timeline of events of conversations we had compared to her very disturbing search results and various other findings. All of my fears were confirmed, even worse than I imagined. She was researching how marriages turn out with your therapist, how to document evidence to prepare for a divorce. She stalked him and his family, did background checks on them, researched how to hide assets during divorce, how to catfish someone, the law of if a therapist could lose their license if they had sex with a client, and the list of things went on. She googled this man nearly every day. The evidence was undeniable. She absolutely loves this man and was stalking him. The day before her trip, five days ago, she searched how to not fart during lovemaking. All the pieces were there and I knew exactly what was going on. I sent her a text message Sunday morning outlining all of the things I knew what was going on. I called out her AP by name and said she needed to come clean if she had any desire to fix our relationship. She returned Sunday, a day early. She demanded to know where I got this info from. But I withheld and told her where I got it from is not important and I held my ground. I didn't want to give her the opportunity to obfuscate, twist, deny, reason with any of the evidence. Eventually she spilled all the information, described in detail how they made love. She told me she wants to continue on with the affair to see where things go, but also wants to continue her marriage with me because she loves me. I'm sickened, I'm horrified, but for some reason I can't help but think maybe I should try to have an open relationship. Maybe it'll be fun even. Please someone shake me out of this idiotic line of thinking. After some intense hours of her sharing and telling me everything and the more I think about it the crazier this all sounds. Apparently, her therapist is a leader of a group of men that go out into the woods for sensual male empowerment sessions which are secretive, and they are not allowed to say what goes on there. Instead of my wife attending the female version of this, she attends the graduation ceremony of the male session, where each guy gets on stage and tells his emotional story. Then the family members come on stage to give testimonial of how the man's life improved after joining this group, starting to sound like a crap by the way. Like a little girl gets on stage to say my daddy is different now. I like him better. Now it just so happens that my wife is sat down unknowingly to the top leader of the group who says to the person in the row in front of them, if only there was a female version of this group. And my wife jumps on the opportunity to say oh there is, matter of fact I skipped the session this week to support AP here today. The leader guy says oh really, would you mind speaking about it and sharing information with some people here? So they put her up on stage to talk about this woman's empowerment session she's never even attended before. I could just be paranoid but now I get the feeling her therapist recruits vulnerable women for this organization and indoctrinates them to take advantage of them sexually. I can't prove that. I'm at a loss. On one side, I'm deeply disturbed and upset by my wife's actions. On the other side, I think she was taken advantage of, manipulated, and coached by her therapist and I could report him to the board to have his license revoked. My wife said she does not want me to do that, and it would make her miserable to know she was the reason for his life falling apart. She wants to have an open marriage and talks about having trio and participating in some potentially really fun and interesting lovemaking. She was able to delude me when she got back and the lovemaking was pretty good. So here I am being a crapper contemplating not filing for divorce so I don't have deal with all of that. What the F is wrong with me? So you didn't get any love making for three months and the moment you talk about reporting her AP, she deludes you. Brother that therapist is someone who is destroying families and relationships. And I am pretty sure your wife is not the only one there. And believe me it will end absolutely horrible if you try open relationship with that therapist. You want to try open relationship try but with someone else. Most important report that affair partner. There are many more innocent families and women's he has destroyed. If you want your wife back you have to break her affair fog and that you can do only by reporting her AP. And brother work on protecting yourself first. You are very easily manipulated by your wife. She has solid plan to leave you, without offering much in divorce. As you can see from search history she has no intention of continuing with you and most probably just buying time to go through her plan. So take control in your hand. 
protect your money and assets. Destroy AP first to bring her out of fog. Dude, you can do more than get his license revoked permanently. You can sue him for malpractice and you're going to win big. Take every crap thing he has. Make him file bankruptcy. Let your unfaithful wife support his unemployed crap. It's precisely what she deserves. She is protecting him. She is supposed to be protecting you. Please, wake up and make them both pay for what they've done to you. Use the money you win in the suit to live the life this criminal counselor buys for you. Strike first. Start gathering yourself up and start divorce proceedings. Start the process of Grey Rock 180. She doesn't deserve any second chances. She's not the damsel in distress. She's the ghoul in sheep's clothing. She deserves consequences. Whether she was manipulated or conditioned by her AP, she still had many options to stop from going further. She didn't. She only certified her cheating by trying to make you her enemy. And as for AP, this prick thrives on control and submission. A total abuse of power and morals. Who knows how many relationships and lives he's destroyed throughout his career. Report him. Make sure everyone knows. If he has a family they absolutely deserve to know exactly what waste of a dude he truly is. Stay strong brother. OP, she told you which relationship and which man she prioritizes and cares for more. She is worried and doing whatever she can to ensure that his life does not fall apart. At the same time, she does not care whether your life falls apart or not, especially when she is the reason why. You need to talk to an attorney right away and start the divorce proceeding. They can start divorce proceedings and a formal complaint against the AP. Maybe even ask about the possibility of an alienation of affection suit, since they use their position as a therapist to break up your marriage. I think it's best if one of you moves out and you cut all contact with her and any communication goes through your lawyers. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you really like my videos then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.